more than I need it. And I just got, I've got some sausages here. I've just split, slipped them down the side and I just want to crumble the sausage meat into chunks. And I'm going to use four sausages, but yeah, three or four is a, a good number. I'm just going to cook them for a few minutes um, and then give them a stir. We just want them to brown on the outside. So when sausages are starting to brown, you don't need to cook them all the way through after about three or four minutes. Then we'll get our lentils in. And just give them a stir to toast them a little bit in the lovely oil. So that's 200 grams of bread lentils or seven ounces. And then we'll get in our red wine. So, and I'll increase the heat to high. Because we want to bring this up to a simmer. So a cup of red wine and two cups of chicken stock. So I'm just using a commercial stock. Um, because there's so much flavor in the sausages and red wine, you don't really need it. Great. And so I'm just going to bring that up and let it simmer until the lentils are tender, basically. So it's, it usually takes around 15 to 20 minutes. So risotto has been cooking for uh, 15 minutes and you can see it started to reduce down and go lovely and oozy. So, and the lentils have started to break up and go, go nice and mushy. So I'm just going to quickly. So that tastes great actually. And, um, I'm happy that the, the, the lentils are cooked, so just, um, I'm just going to turn the heat off. Give it a good stir to make sure I probably haven't stirred this enough. It's good to stir it you know, every couple of, every five minutes or so, just to make sure it doesn't stick to the bottom. And then to finish off, all I've got is just a couple of handfuls here of um, grated parmesan. So that's going to go in. And then I'll have a taste. It probably won't need any salt, but I'll give it some pepper because I know the stock I used is quite salty and the parmesan and, and the sausages. So that's pretty much our lentil risotto ready to serve. So if you enjoyed this recipe, really encourage you to come on over and visit my blog. It's thestonesoup.com. And if you sign up for email updates, you'll get a free video uh, e-cookbook filled with recipes just like this one. So I really hope to see you soon.